Hello guys, Lincoln here. Sorry for the voice. I have a cold today. Um, been looking a little on this guy Harbinger Oscoth. He seems more or less like the first Harbinger all nuke. Just nuke this guy down with the best DPS you got. Check those modifiers to see what will work best. Uh, and uh, I've seen a lot of players using Nicol Lambda uh, for the energy boost working fine as well. But <laughs> this movie was actually uh, not about this guy today. I planning to make a Stamatus video. And uh, I were discussing this guy once before. Uh, before the bosses came out, I said that I'm guessing that this guy would do some really good damage against the boss. Um, and we're really curious on how the mechanics on his ability, where he can actually do up to 17% damage of max health uh, every fourth attack, basic attack. Um, in many games, when an, a hero has um, an ability like this, uh, usually um, the developers put a cap on the, how much damage he can make. So, but usually the cap is quite high still, uh, but it doesn't seem to work on these bosses. They just ignore his ability, so he just do normal damage. Uh, with that said, this guy, Stamatus, is still really good for the boss, but for a totally different reason. Uh, so if you have been leveling this guy up, don't feel too sad. You will have a lot of use of this guy doing good DPS thanks to this ability. Because the bosses, I mentioned this before, they have really high armor and uh, resistance. And having so someone who can reduce their uh, armor uh, is really good. And Stamatus can boost two of your best DPSers, basically if they are in front of him, uh, like the picture shows. Uh, and I try this uh, to get some idea on exactly how good this would work by having like two DPSs in the front and then I put Stamatus. Okay, now he's actually mining, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, let's send him back. Like this. <coughs> Do this again. see now. <clears throat> so two DPSers in the front and then I had uh, Stamatus in the front as well so he doesn't give any boost and I did a couple of fights with only these three heroes against uh, uh, the previous uh, Harbinger uh, and uh, Halbjörn and uh, uh, took notes on exactly how much damage these three did in this lineup and then I just did the same thing with this lineup instead. And my Stamatus, he's only level 49 and I removed all his gear, so he basically didn't do any damage at all, just to, to get as consistent damage as possible. And I wanted to use um, my Sadaharu, even if it's uh, more difficult to find out exactly how much damage you do, since Sadaharu makes a lot of poisons and crits and those can differ. But I, the poisons are important as well for the lower of resist. I wanted to see how much that will affect since a lot of people are using Sadaharu. And the difference between using this combination and this combination, yeah, I got like between 10 and 25% more damage only with these three heroes. So <coughs> having this lineup will increase your two most powerful heroes a lot. You will do a lot of damage Put Stamatus behind those two that does most damage and nuke. So uh, even if his uh, basic ability, that fourth attack one, doesn't work, this aura that he has, that he emits, is really, really good. Especially if you can boost this ability up. This is one of those you want to upgrade with those Lunar Emblems uh, to do really good damage. So Stamatus... Fantastic guy still, even though he's uncommon, and even though they didn't even put a cap on the max damage that he would do with this ability, synchronicity. Uh, 
but thanks to his stalwart veteran, fantastic in DPS. So uh, it's a guy you can actually go for. See you guys.